Oh, you're just going to rest right there. Hi, I'm Andrea Kirk with the channel The Art Chick. And as you can see, I have a cute bird friend. His name is Oreo. He is a baby magpie that we rescued about a week ago. His mother was killed. And so we've been feeding him and caring for him until he's strong enough to fly out into the wild. And, and as you can see, um, he is going to be my project for this week's art tutorial. I just think he's absolutely beautiful. Where are you going? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I thought that you guys might enjoy drawing a bird for a change, right? So have fun with the project and let's see if we can get him to talk. <gasps> Oreo, Oreo, say hello. hello. For this project, you'll need Faber-Castell polychromos or Prismacolor pencils, Mona Lisa odorless paint thinner, paint brushes, a pencil, eraser, and a sharpener, and watercolor paper. Mine is 11 by 14 and I used 140 pound Fabriano watercolor paper. First I will show you how to draw the bird using basic shapes. For you young artists, you can draw this image and color it however you want. And for you more advanced artists, you can take the challenge and complete the entire project. Begin by drawing a diagonal line. Next, draw a gumdrop shape for the head. Underneath that, draw an oval for the bird's chest and part of its back. From there, draw a bowl shape for the base of the bird's body. Next, add an arrow shape for the wing. Then connect a long tail feather below that. Bring out the chest and the stomach a little bit more. and then draw his long beak. Draw a chin connecting from the beak to the base of the head. Then add a line on his beak for his mouth. Next draw another arrow shape in the middle of his beak. For his eye, draw a small lemon shape, and then draw a circle within that. Next, draw a tiny circle in the middle with an arched line running through it. Draw a parallel line outlining the top of the bird's eye, and then draw another one down below. Next, connect the head with the shoulder. Now draw the outline for the bird's wing. Round his stomach a little more and add a slight bump at the bottom of the line. Define his beak a little more and then erase all of your extra lines. Isn't it interesting how using basic shapes first made the bird proportional in shape and form? That's exactly why using basic shapes is necessary when drawing any figure. Draw the top of the wing like a rolling heel. Then draw a series of L's for the feather texture. Add a large rounded L for the front edge of the wing. Next draw a long slanted line. Then draw a curvy line beneath that, adding fluff at the very end. Let's erase this bottom line to enhance his fluffiness. Extend his belly outward with a jagged line, then curve upward. Draw another line coming down further and around to enlarge his body a little more. Next, draw a feather coming out behind the fluff. Erase the extra lines on his chest and then let's begin his feet. Begin with a rectangle and then add two sharp claws.
For the other foot, draw one claw and a half circle. Now let's draw the large branch that he's resting upon. Draw a series of long skinny lines slightly curving at the base of each one. Add additional feathers at the back. Layering your lines will make the feathers look stacked. Add an additional layer of feathers below his bottom and tail. Add a rippled line across the middle of his wing for more texture. Now take some time to add the detailed markings on the bird. Follow along with me and watch closely. Now that Oreo is completely drawn, add some foliage in the background. I will show you how to color the background in my next video. Today we will just focus on the bird and the branch. And there you have it, our sketch is complete. Now we can begin coloring. For the beak, take several shades of gray and blue and begin layering your colors. Use an eraser to lighten your pencil lines so that they don't show through the color. Take your black pencil and lightly shade the top of the beak. Also darken the line on his beak for his mouth. Now shade the triangular shape on his beak with the black. Then darken the very tip a little. Use white to highlight above the black line and to soften the black on the triangle. To add reflection, take your light blue and add a few markings for shine. Also use it to deepen the color at the end of the beak. Take a brown shade and color lightly at the top. Shade the bottom portion of the beak with black, leaving a white line for his mouth.
Now take a reddish brown and use it to add more depth and color to the beak. You can also add a deep purple. Just be sure to continue leaving the white line below his mouth untouched. Use a light gray shade to soften and blend your colors. Once again, take your black pencil and finish outlining and shading to accentuate the beak. Now we can start coloring in his black feathers. Watch carefully how I shade around his eye. I'm leaving some areas untouched so that I can add other colors. Using both brown and blue, watch how I add depth to his face by shading in certain areas. Using multiple colors enhances the final look of a subject by making it appear much more realistic. You cannot accomplish this by using just one color. Add texture to the bird by making small pencil strokes where the beak and feathers meet. Use white to brighten the beak and to make it even more reflective. Now that you are familiar with the layering process, watch closely as I color the eye and follow along. Fill in with light gray around the eye to contrast against the deep black. Notice how doing that made it look three-dimensional. Continue layering with gray, blue, black, and brown. As you can see, these colors work beautifully together.
Now I'm going to speed up the process. As I color the rest of the bird, I'm going to also use pink, green, and turquoise. Remember to layer with the lighter shades first and then add the darker shades. Also, don't forget to add texture for the feathers by adding tiny pencil strokes throughout. For the white fluffy feathers, use blue, white, turquoise, taupe, and pink. Now for a little trick to make the feathers ultra fluffy. Take a long skinny fine tip brush, titanium white acrylic paint, and some liquid retarder. And gently stroke upward creating a series of white curvy lines for soft fluffy feathers. I like using the paint because it easily paints over the penciled in surface without much effort at all. You can also use it to brighten the highlights on the beak. Now layer your colors for the feet and add sharp texture with the black. Underneath the bird, add a shadow beginning with black and fading outward with brown. Add a little more black and blue underneath his tail to make him more fluffy and then begin the branch. I colored the branch using the same process as the bird, only this time with a series of different colors and textures. Follow along and watch carefully to see if you can recognize all the different colors I'm using. And finished. I absolutely love how it turned out. In my next video, we will finish the background for this drawing, so stay tuned. <laughs> I love how the eats. He's like, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed drawing Oreo. He's such a cutie. Be sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.